bit of challenge is it to build team chemistry and camaraderie when a lot of it is based at this time of the year on individual workouts and weightlifting and you're new. So how, do, how does that come together quickly or in the off season? Well, I think a lot of, a lot of team, uh, being a great team is having strong relationships. And so while we're working on their individual skills and we try to analyze their games and say, this is where you need to get better at and this is where we need to get better at, uh, ultimately, the, the time that you spend together is the time where we're getting to know each other better. Uh, in addition to what we're doing from a basketball standpoint, there's constant dialogue of how you know what it's going to take for us to be a really good team, and and I think we can. And certainly, uh, we lost a lot from last year. I mean, there's uh, you know those guys produced at a really high level for last year's team. And we lost that, but I'm confident in the guys uh, that I'll be going to battle with. And uh, you know, I, the main thing, the, the primary thing I'm excited about is that they've showed up pretty much every day with an attitude uh, and, a, and a desire to improve. But and if we can do that, uh, I think the other things will take care of themselves. So when you're talking to either current players or prospective players, is there a certain identity that you're trying to get on right away, or are you going to kind of let that form as you kind of grow into coaching and, and the program kind of gets underway? Well, you know, the identity of the program um, and the uh, you know the style of play, I think, are two different things. So very, the very first thing, the identity. I want I want high character kids who want to take advantage of all that Marquette has to offer and want to play at the highest level of college basketball and compete for championships and do special things. Uh, and, and how we do that, I mean ultimately my job as a coach is to figure out the personnel on the team and how to put those guys in a position to be successful. And so each year it can be different. But in a perfect world, you know, I want to play a, a very aggressive, attacking style of basketball. I want, I want our kids and our teams to be on the attack, both offensively and defensively. And I think it's a really fun way to play. And I think it's a, 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 a style of play that kids want to be a part of. And uh, you know we're, we're going to try to do that as soon as we can. But ultimately, my job is to put, put the guys in a position to win now. And so you know sometimes you have to do things differently until you can, and you can do that, so. Everything you're doing on a coaching standpoint, whether it's drills or workouts, is different from what these guys are used to. I know a little while ago, one of them uh, tweeted out a picture of the shooting drill card that you had given them. With things like that, how are these guys reacting to the, to the changes you're putting in? Is it, wow, that's pretty cool, is it, oh my God, what is this? How are they reacting to your coaching changes? Well, from everything I can tell, I think our guys are thrilled. And you know we, we want to put a, a great deal of emphasis in our program on helping guys get better. Uh, we have a staff uh, that has tremendous experience in college basketball, some as great players and now as coaches. And uh, if you ask those guys, you know what you know what do they remember about their college experience? It's it's those times where they were working with a coach, and they felt like they were getting better. And so we've tried to create a structure um, starting here in the summer, but will be a year-round thing where our guys are always going to feel like we're putting them in a position to improve themselves, to improve themselves as players, obviously because that's their passion. But we also want to be put them in a position to improve themselves as people, uh, whether that's from an academic standpoint, whether that's just learning more about the world that they all eventually hope to to go in, and so we we all we want to be in a constant state of improvement. We want to embrace the process of improving. We want to we want to be able to look at ourselves as coaches and players and as a team and tell the truth about where we are, deal with reality, and then attack of how we're gonna how we're gonna improve on that. I think the guys love it. In fact, I, I'm almost sure of it. So that's been, that's been uh, particularly encouraging. Our guys 
have loved being in the gym. I see a renewed energy from the day I got the job to right now. I think there's a new renewed energy and spirit. And um, that's something that we want to continue as we move forward.